Joining us on the line is uh, Manny Rivas, who is a Facebook friend of mine, and I see that he went out there with his uh, new wife. They went out there for a romantic getaway on Madeline Island, and uh, we'll bring you in, Manny. You can tell us what happened. It's good to good to hear from you, and uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, JP. Um, yeah, so my wife and I, uh, right after we got married, uh, we decided to go out to Madeline Island. We're from Duluth, so um, it was it was a getaway that was somewhat close, so we wouldn't spend all of our time traveling. And we had never been there, and heard a lot of great things. And when we got to Bayfield, it was exactly that. I mean, we saw um, a lot of great, um, just beautiful scenery and uh, a lot of great people. Uh, we took the ferry over to Madeline Island. Um, and uh, we had booked a stay at a, at a cabin called Ben's Cabin. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, I mean, there was a lot of great people on the island, and it was unfortunate that one person kind of so you, you you uh, you sent him some money. You sent him a check for your room, right, or for your for your cabin. And then when yeah. you when you got there, you didn't have a place to stay. Yeah. So I mean, my my wife charged me with, you know, little responsibility during the wedding. She did a lot of the planning, which I, <laughs> I, I left up to, to her, but she wanted me to schedule the itinerary for the honeymoon and, of course, take care of the music for the um, DJ at the wedding. Um, and I, I called Ben's cabin. It was a great deal. And he said, you know what? If you send me your money early, if, I, if, you, um, yeah, if you give me the check early, I'll cut 10% off of it. And so I said, oh, yeah, let's do that. So I wrote him a check and sent it out to him. He soon after that cashed it. And then uh, we got to the island a week before I called, and I was trying to figure out what time we would check in. And I also needed to confirm the address because um, it wasn't listed on the website. And so um, the only address on the website was his P.O. box. Um, and we get out there, and I, we go to the Chamber of Commerce, and we said um, we're trying to stay at Ben's cabin. And right when I said that, the woman at the front desk like puts her head in her hands, and she's like, "You're the fourth person that's come in here, trying to stay there, um, and we can't get a hold of Ben." And he's so we were the fourth couple that he's done it to, and there was one after us that had come from North Dakota, um, and he uh, took their money as well. And I found out I was doing some searches online, and I did find. Um, just a, a government paper that listed where the ben, where Ben's cabin was. So I drove out there to find it to see if I could um, find him there. Wait, this and, is on this is on the honeymoon. You like went on your phone or something, or you got went online and you yep. like sleuthed out where the spot was. Yep. And I showed up, and there's a couple staying there. Oh, great! So he had double booked it, and. Uh, I go in there and I tell them the whole story and they're like, well, I, we just met this guy yesterday. We were out camping and we met him at the campground and he said the place was open and he'd give it to us for half price. Yeah. And, uh, at this point, what's your wife is Megan and yeah. I, I've met her, but I mean, what's, what's her demeanor <laughs> at this yeah. as part, I know at this is, as this is going on. Well, luckily the chamber of commerce and on Madeline Island was quick to like help us out. And I think, you know, we were both kind of bummed. I mean, she was particularly bummed because we just wanted to have a carefree, you know, just enjoy our time there week. And it, it was just kind of a rough way to start a honeymoon, but we worked through it. I think she, she wanted me to give it up after at a certain point, mm -hmm. but I was, you know, it's hard to like, just get over feeling cheated like that. So um, I, we did file a police report and spend some time trying to deal with that. We uh, called our lawyer and, and everything, tried to figure out what we were going to do. Um, but we didn't let it, you know, ruin any ruin anything. Uh, like I said, the people at the Chamber of Commerce were super cool and got us a, a great place to stay and helped us out. So I, uh, bef when I, when I heard this story, I said, well, let's share this story. And then I thought, oh, I better find out just a little bit more about this. And so I actually called over to the, uh, 
to the uh, just so so everybody knows that uh, I I called over to the Ashland uh, I called over to the the Point Police Department and didn't really get anywhere but I uh, like I called and talked to the folks at Ashland County and uh, not Ash is it Ashland County anyway I talked to the county the county attorney's office and uh, they confirmed that yeah this is something that's under review they didn't see if there's any charges filed or or anything but it's like a real issue that people other than you have been dealing with out there it's a it's a bummer i because that was one thing that we wanted to figure out you know like the cops have all these cases they had um i guess it started in mid june or early june and uh um they why couldn't they just go arrest him? Like, to me, it's like, you have all this evidence, you know where he's at, like, why can't you just <laughs> go arrest him? Cause it, I don't know. It, it was it was a bummer because he wanted justice right away, and it, that's not how it worked. I even went back out there to the cabin and confronted his dad, Jim Ryder, mm-hmm. and uh, he, he promised to give me uh, a check and... and would deliver it to the written house where we were going to be staying next. And he did end up doing that, but it was a bad check. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so it, it sounds awful. It sounds like you did still end up having a pretty, pretty great honeymoon, but, but you kind of were doing encyclopedia Brown as it went along. But, (laughs) um, now you got back and I don't want to make it sound like a vigilante campaign, but you sort of are doing like a public one thing that these guys probably didn't know about you is that you're a social media specialist and you work for one of the, you know, for aim clear, which is this uh, company that helps with, uh, you know, web identity and positioning and, and yeah. uh, drawing traffic to websites. And so uh, you've kind of used what you know to, I guess, what's the goal that is it cause you're mad or is it to protect other people or cause you want your money back or what, what's happening? What's the goal? Okay, hold on. I I lost you. Okay, okay, there Hello? we go. Okay, so uh, so what I was asking you, what kind of what the goal is with what you've been doing? So I I obviously want my money back, but more importantly, I don't want him to be able to scam others like he's done in the past. And from what I hear about the family, it's kind of it's been shady for a long time. Um, I want I would love it if he got kicked off the island, like voted off the island or something, but. <laughs> Um, I, I just mainly want to, if people are finding him online, um, I need there to be, um, the story of what happened to us there, um, prominently so that somebody else doesn't call him up and fall for the, his same, uh, trick. So, okay. So how do, so how do people find this? So if they do a, a search for, uh, Jim or for, uh, let's see, if, he, they, if they do, do it, okay, go ahead. Uh, do a search for Ben's Cabin, Madeline Island. If you scroll down on that search result page, there is a um, rip-off report and a, a, a scam report that, that I've posted. And as many people that go, I mean, the more people that search for that term, Ben's Rider, uh, ben, Ben's Cabin, Madeline Island, more people that search for it and click on the scam link, not his website, but the, the scam link, that will um, let the search engines know that uh, that's an important page on that search result. Um, and there's a number of other things that we're doing um, to, to help that as well, to increase the, the ranking of it. Um, but that's a, that's a helpful thing that everybody could do. And if they, they want to contribute to the conversation, too, there's a, a comment thread in that article. Um, and... Uh, if they want to, you know, contribute and with their thoughts. So do you want to tell us where you ended up staying and how it was? Where I stayed, where we ended up staying? Yeah. Oh, we ended up staying, I don't know the name of it, but it was a beautiful six bedroom cabin. It was a little overkill, but it was like amazing. Um, We had, they had like an archery thing in the back and um, a great fire pit grill and all kinds of, um, a whole bunch of wood for, for fires and stuff. And we rented mopeds. We did paddle boarding, um, did a glass bottom boat tour. Um, it was, it was amazing. It was, it was a lot of fun. 
Well, I'm glad that things uh, did end up working out for you, and I'm and thanks for sh- even though it's a, kind of a sad, kind of a bummer of a story, but thanks for uh, for sharing it with us. And uh, I hope that let's just hope that you know they say that if things start off on a rocky note, then then that bodes for a, a healthier, stronger marriage. So that let's just hope that this is how it goes for you guys. I'm hoping. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Manny Rivas, uh, honeymooner that uh, ran into a a rough patch there on Madeland Island. Thank you, uh, Manny. Uh, Thank you, JP. Okay. Good job, man.